Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing another luxury installment in the Will I Buy It series. But here on my channel, we add a little French twist. So for collections we do want, we say oui. And for collections we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. So if ever you pick up a makeup item and you cannot for the life of you make it work out for you, or maybe you have an old item in your collection that just isn't working for you anymore, go ahead and book a session with me today. Now, before we dive into today's video, I do want to remind you very quickly that there is the Sylvie Chantecai anniversary sale right now, and I have my code here that you can use. This gives you early access, and it gives you 25% off of most of Chantecai products before they sell out. So let's go ahead and dive into Will I Buy It? Last time we talked about a lot of food, I heard you guys loud and clear. Listen, even I need to indulge in some more trashy taste every now and then. But today we are strictly non-food related. So first up, we have the Givenchy Fall Collection. I know it's early, but it looks gorgeous. Let's go ahead and break it down. We have the Pink Collection, which currently is available for sale. A lot of the items say out of stock, but I think what they've been doing is they've just sort of built the site and then they're going to launch the items in a matter of days, probably, maybe hours. So go ahead and put yourself on um, the waiting list here to be called back when the items come in stock because it looks gorgeous. To me, everything looks great. I mean, it's pink, it's Givenchy. We have the gorgeous logos here. We have, um, we have the Rose Perfecto Lip Balm. It's supposed to offer 24 hours of hydration. It hydrates, but maybe not up to 24 hours. And it has a beautiful tint. It looks like the most beautiful marbleized swirl. It has shea butter, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. I have multiples of these. They're fabulous. This looks gorgeous. I'm not sure what the shade is for this one in particular. Uh, it's number 525 Shimmering Rosewood. It looks like your lip but better. Rosewood generally indicates your lip but better. This looks stunning. We also have a more classic uh, bullet lip, but uh, let me go ahead and see the color for this. I think these are going to be matte. The bullet lipstick, I think this one looks more matte. Listen gorgeous we've got some gorgeous colors here i think there are two shades in the rose perfecto and two shades in the matte lipstick no i'm sorry that was confusing there was only one lipstick and one rose perfecto lip balm what's new is the color but also the case itself because Givenchy always does a new case for different collections and so this case here this pink uh, Givenchy logo I think is gorgeous so these are limited edition this like brick red looks gorgeous it it kind of lives in like the your lip but butter but like in that bricky slight orange red Oof, it looks absolutely stunning and then the centerpiece here personally the most exciting item here is the blush I love these blushes. I have several of these uh, when they first came out. I don't know why they didn't come to Canada. I had to use like Harrods or Selfridges. I still don't know when the entire blush series is going to come to North America. It's still up in the air, but this is a blush loose highlighter. So I guess it's like a two in one. And as you can see, it looks like the Givenchy Prism Libre Loose Powder, where you have four different shades blended together that just create a beautiful hue. So this one here, again, that gorgeous Givenchy G logo everywhere in pink. Now it says that this is a blush loose highlighter, so it looks like it's a gorgeous two-in-one. We have some models where the models always look gorgeous, but we have them wearing the product here. It looks just like a really healthy, gorgeous flush of pink. I'm going to go ahead and add myself to the waiting list for when this comes back in stock because this is definitely a wee for me. Now, moving on to Dior. We have a brand new lipstick collection. 
Of course we do. There's always something new here. Peter Phillips never sleeps. This is the Rouge Dior Forever, a transfer-proof lipstick, ultra-pigmented matte bare lip, and it's supposed to feel comfortable. I should hope so. Interesting. So it's matte. It's supposed to be ultra-pigmented. This reminds me of the ones we saw from Chanel this year. What were they called? The Rouge Allure something something. You know the ones that have like a really small tube, they're very thin. Those ones are more glossy, like a classic satin. But this just looks like a cousin, like a Dior cousin of that one from Chanel. These look gorgeous. Um, let's go ahead and see if there's any more information here. As it's supposed to be transfer proof, which is really interesting to me. I wonder, I'm guessing these will be refillable. Many of the Dior lipsticks are refillable, so I would be shocked if this is not. Uh, it says Dior innovates with Rouge Forever, uh, Rouge Dior Forever, the first transfer proof lipstick in a bullet format because they've done transfer proof before, but not in bullet. Ultra pigmented for intense color and concentrated in floral lip care. It ensures 16 hours of wear without compromising comfort. All day long, Rouge Dior Forever transfer proof lipstick is resistant to contact even with fabrics. The couture color is an ultra matte finish that does not budge. The shades are revealed and emboldened more intense than ever. Echoing Christian Dior's love of flowers, Rouge Dior Forever is infused with red peony extract, an iconic ingredient at the heart of the Rouge Dior collection. It helps maintain the natural hydration of the lips. I would hope so because matte uh, supposed to last for 16 hours does sound like it could be a bit drying, but it looks gorgeous. The lipsticks themselves look really pretty. I think the issue here is going to be to find what shades I want. I think I would like to go in person to see this because I kind of want to swatch all of them and see which one calls to me. There's always the iconic 999. That's like the classic red for Dior, but they do make some gorgeous nudes. And yeah, although sometimes I have bought online based off of the models, like the different colors available, which hasn't necessarily led me wrong, but I think I'd like to see these in person. This is a definite we for me, 100%. I'm not going to pick up all 32, but you know, I might get a, a couple here and there. This is permanent, so if you want to go out and buy every single one, I understand, but don't feel the need to do so. You know, you can, you can take your time if you want. We also have a complexion item here from Dior. This is brand new as well. This is the Dior Forever Natural Velvet, a transfer-proof compact foundation, 90% natural origin. Interesting. Okay, what else? The Dior Forever Natural Velvet is Dior's first transfer-proof compact matte foundation with 24 hours of wear, composed of 90% natural ingredients, ultra soft and light, it brings a naturally matte perf uh, perfection to the complexion with a fine and creamy texture that lets the skin breathe while offering comfortable um, feel that lasts all day. It's high coverage, corrects blemishes, smooths and evens out the complexion. Interesting. And this also has the concentrated floral care, part of the Dior family, etc, etc. It says it's refillable. Interesting. So I've never really gotten into compact foundations, like powder foundations. It's really never been my jam for a couple of reasons. Um, to me, they always, I always assumed that they were for very oily skin because it's a powder and powder is more mattifying. And I've just always preferred cream or liquid foundations, but I definitely really prefer super lightweight sheer, your skin but better bb creams tinted moisturizers things like that so for all those reasons i've really never tried a powder compact foundation this could be interesting it does say it's high coverage it's mattifying like i have enjoyed a lot of mattifying liquid foundations but they haven't been like the highest full coverage so i'm intrigued again i think i would like to feel the texture do a little swatch, sort of see how it feels. But I kind of like the idea of a powder or like a compact foundation. It, it looks glamorous, um, but I don't know if it's for me. 
I don't know. It's a peut-être. It's a maybe. I think for this, I need to go in person and just sort of play around with it. Um, we also have a new eyeshadow palette here from Dior. This one is called Wild Raffia. Number 409, Wild Raffia. It's a warm brown with rosewood and an icy plum. So this here is like a promo photo, so the shades always look a little bit different. I'm a little thrown off with the yellow. Like, is this like a gold or more of a yellow? Interesting, like if I think I see plum, that to me that sounds very cool, but then the yellow, I don't know. I'm. The thing is, so many of like the new limited edition palettes from Dior never come to Canada. I keep checking to see if they have a Canadian site on the Dior website. They have a Canadian site, but we still can't shop on it. Knock on wood, fingers crossed. I hope that changes because Garnet has changed. So I'm like, come on Dior, get into it. Keep up with us. So this, I think it looks pretty i think it could be one of those palettes that doesn't necessarily look that exhilarating in the pan but when you wear it on the eyes it's actually quite flattering because oftentimes the most boring looking eyeshadows look the most beautiful on the eyes they just look really soft very natural so that's that for wild raffia i think i asked you guys on instagram and a lot of you said meh meh so meh I understand but we have another one here called silk earth is this new i don't know i can't keep up with all of these this is 609 silk earth a delicate blend of nude and copper shades a dark rosewood okay this kind of looks like a cousin of weld raffia i can sort of see why these came out at the same time it's again rosewood but dark whereas wild raffia i just said rosewood so interesting now is this going to be orangey red is the question because the top ones look more like a burnished orange yellow but then we have that plummy shade again this looks like not that exhilarating in the palette you know there's no blue there's no turquoise no purples but i'm guessing it probably is quite flattering on the eyes I can't tell how many of these are matte because it doesn't say in the description like because a lot of these uh, five shadow palettes from Dior are a mixture sometimes there's like half matte and half satin sometimes one is like a topper shade definitely the one in the center looks different in texture than the other four but I don't know in which sense I don't know if the center one is the matte one and the other four are a satin or vice versa it's hard to tell um, I don't know. It's a peut-être. It's a maybe. If I saw these in person, I definitely could make a better, more informed decision because I could go ahead and swatch them. But for the time being, it's going to be a meh, followed by a peut-être, a maybe. I'll go ahead and see if I can see these in person or find swatches online. If you have these, go ahead and send them to me on Instagram. Send me some swatches and photos. I'd love to see these. Um, but like in general, Dior makes such great quality eyeshadows that even when I get a palette that I'm like, eh, the story, like the color story isn't that invigorating, I wear it and I'm like, Peter Phillips knew what he was doing. This is gorgeous. So I can't believe this new Lisa Eldridge collection just like slipped through my fingers i didn't need, like i knew that it was happening but i don't know it, it somehow evaded me this is the first time that she's done a launch that i haven't picked up anything so we have new colors here in the luxuriously lucent lip shades these are the more classic satiny lip colors i'm wearing a velvet ribbon today just like a very classic red toned gorgeous like or blue toned red lipstick in a velvet bullet formula uh, we have the insanely saturated lip color we also have okay so just those two there i mean there are tons of shades we have have i seen the insanely saturated lip color maybe this is a new formula because this doesn't look as 
reminiscent. I don't know. I feel like I know the velvets and the luxuriously loosened. Lucent. I got the lip liners, blush, highlighter, a bit of everything. I just haven't gotten the insanely saturated lip colors yet, I guess. There are so many fun colors, lots of like bright pinks. Let's go ahead and just name them all. Okay, we have je ne sais quoi. That's, I, I don't know. I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to translate that into English. It just looks like the perfect nude. We have rosy shell. It looks very pink and gorgeous. Wonder wheel. This gives me like red with like a hint of coral maybe obviously they're going obviously these will look different on different skin tones but these look great meet me in berlin this gives me like a 90s supermodel vibe uh palazzo great gorgeous red kind of like a brick with with it as well strawberry shock perfect for summer new wave that would be so flattering on so many different skin tones and sunday matinee they all look great. Sunday matinee, I think, looks really pretty. Looks like a gorgeous nude. Even Meet Me in Berlin. I'm like, ooh, that could be gorgeous for fall. Like, just like a deep, moody color. Looks great. I don't know. I don't know why this collection just slipped through my fingers, but like I said, I've picked up all the other collections. This one here just evaded me. Um, this is definitely a we. Uh, I don't know if I need anything. I mean, je ne sais quoi also looks nice. I don't know. I don't know if I need anything quite this like second, but it's a wee for me. It's a wee for me on Lisa Eldridge Cosmetics in general. I've tried every category of her makeup and it's all great. It's all wonderful. Like if you are trying, if you're thinking of trying it out, 100% worth it. I also really enjoy her sweatshirts. They're very cozy, very soft, totally worth it. It's a wee for me, but I just don't know if I'm actually going to get anything. I might wait for fall and see like what lip colors intrigue me then. Just, you know, just to have some different lipsticks for fall. But yeah, it's a wee, just not right now because this is permanent. It's not limited edition. So I'm not going to run out the gate to get it. But I know many of you already did pick up these new lipsticks. And if you did, let us know which shades you got. Okay, moving on, we have something new here from Laura Mercier. This is the new Ultra Blur Setting Powder. This is the translucent setting powder, but a little bit different. It's the cult favorite translucent setting powder, now talc-free and with a blurring power effect. Interesting. So there are three shades. Well, one is a translucent shade. So that's for light to medium skin tones. Then we have a translucent honey for medium skin tones. And then a translucent medium deep for medium to deep skin tones. Um, I'm really interested. So I'm really, <laughs> I'm really interested. This is talc free. It's supposed to offer 16 hours of ultra blurring wear. What's interesting is I know that the original Laura Mercier loose setting powder for many people is like cult status favorite will repurchase forever and ever but i've also heard from people that it's a bit drying so i don't know what to make of it like some people swear by it it's like their holy grail and some people don't which i guess makes sense like not everything's for everyone i'm just interested so it says for the first time laura is making her iconic powder talc free without and without sacrificing any benefits this truly translucent powder sets makeup for 16 hours of weightless wear with an ultra blurring soft matte finish. Like the original, it is exceptionally milled to, deli to deliver incredible staying powder without weight or texture, so skin looks and feels soft, smooth, and flawless day to night. These are a lot of big promises. I'm, I'm really intrigued here. New infusion of ultra blurring ingredients like amino acid and silica powders. The powder blurs away the look of pores, fine lines, and imperfections with total shine control and zero photo flashback. I'm not in the business of getting paparazzi photos taken, but if I ever had that occasion, I'm glad to know I won't get any flashback. Plus, we've added ingredients like hyaluronic acid for all day comfort, for all skin types, even dry. Thank you, I feel seen. Even the non-powder user will, will have this, even the non-powder user will have this be a new staple in their makeup routine. Well, Laura, I wanna take you up on this. This is going to be a wee for me. I'm going to order it. I'm going to try this out because I'm just, I'm curious. And to me, 
this kind of seems like it's going to be a lighter version of the original just from what I'm reading here. So it's going to be away from me. Click, click, click. I think I'll get translucent. I feel like translucent medium. I don't know, maybe medium. I don't know. I'll look online to see more swatches perhaps, but it's going to be away from me. This looks like it, it's a lot of product when you get a loose powder because it's a lot to actually use up, but it's supposed to be 16 hours of wear with like an ultra blurred soft matte finish. It's a wee for me. I'm going to test it out. Let me know what you think. Next up, we have a new foundation. This is from Hourglass Cosmetics. We have the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I have their blushes. I think they're great. I love their blushes. And I know that Hourglass has a lot of like ambient light products like fa uh, face powders, bronzers, etc. Now we have this soft glow foundation. Let's read the details. It's vegan, long wearing, natural finish, medium coverage, a liquid formula that is cruelty free. A weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. It says it's a natural finish, so it's not going to be too luminous or dewy. Let's hope, fingers crossed. It says it's free of parabens. Um, what else? What else? It's, it offers a light diffusing, natural, soft focus finish. Um, it's supposed to have a sort of minimizing and blurring effect uh, as far as imperfections, fine lines, wrinkles. There's vitamin E, antioxidants, white tea extract. Interesting. And there's also a ambient soft glow foundation brush that came along with the new release. The brush I think looks great. I like those brushes that are like at an angle. It just, I don't know, it looks like it's so perfect for blending. It is. I love them, I love them especially for cheek and bronzer, but even for this foundation, it looks great. I don't feel like I need a new foundation right now. I'm just like, I'm in summer mode. I'm really not in like foundation mode, but this does look gorgeous. Like it looks natural, looks light. It looks really pretty. Hmm. It says, it says it has a natural soft glow finish. So I'm wondering how much glow it's going to be. I mean, I may just have to give it a try. Oh well. But I think this is a peut-être leaning towards we. Oui. I just don't know if I'm going to get it right away. The Laura Mercier powder I will, but this one here, I'm just like, I'm not sure if I really need it right now. So it's peut-être, maybe. Okay, last but not least, we have something new here from Laura Geller. Now, this is a makeup brand that I've heard the name of, of course, but I've never actually tried any of their products. And they have here a serum blush cheek tint. This is new here. It's like, it looks like a blush stick but it looks like it's a, a sponge. So I think you twist the product out and then you apply it on the cheek. It says here, it's a refreshing sheer flush of color, lightweight serum texture. So that means it's going to be very liquidy, a hyaluronic acid and polysaccharide plump and hydrate the skin. Interesting how to use it says twist to release the product dab directly on the cheeks and then blend with your fingers or an angled uh, blush brush that makes sense now there are only two shades to choose from there is a practical pink a rosy pink or a poppy peach a peachy pink i mean they both look pretty i kind of wish there was more shades to choose from i think in the photo it i thought there'd be like several shades but there's only two i guess it's uh, really easy to decide what you want one of each or just one i think i would get with one of each just out of curiosity i'm really curious about this product here. I'm not sure though about the sponge tip applicator because I've tried products from Charlotte Tilbury like that and I don't always love the sponge tip. I feel like it often gets like gloopy or like gunky, but I don't know, I'm, I'm curious. I, I've never tried anything from Laura Geller. Let me know if you've tried Laura Geller. I don't know who she is exactly, but I'm sure her products are great. So I think that is our roundup of luxury makeup. Will I buy it? Oui. No merci. Please sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going to test out. Let me know what you're dying to try out. Let me know if you've purchased anything recently. I would love to hear from you. As always, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining us. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you take the time to subscribe. And you can also hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. 
And I think that's it. I think that's all for today. So thank you all so much for stopping. Bye. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.